Hey guys, how you doing? Right, okay, this is going to be a package video, and it's for this big package here, which has come all the way from America. It's basically a new system, <laughs> yet another one. Yeah, basically I had this system before, and I had it on a loose system, I didn't have the actual box or anything. And the reason I only had a loose one was just because I never owned the system myself. And I just wanted to get it and try it out, and see what the games were like, you know, see if I've got a lot of system or not. And it was a good system, I never really gave it enough trial I think at the time. And recently I've been considering getting a box one, for a couple of reasons. Of which I'll tell you in a minute, because if I tell you the main reason, you'll know what the system is straight away. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. It looked really good in the auction, and she assured me in the auction listing that it was a really good condition. So yeah, fingers crossed. <laughs> so let's crack it open, this is what we got. Nice and easy one to open this one as well. So I worked it out in advance that you just open it inside, which is excellent. Right, just bear with me a second. Nice, nicely bubble wrapped and packed out as well. Always like to see that. Oh, why did she do that? So, just to do some surgery then. She's, uh, for some reason, decided to sell us out the bubble wrap to the box of the console. Clever. <laughs> right, okay, let's move that around there. Not for that lot. Plenty of wrap. Right, okay, back into position. Here we go. <laughs> Right guys, and what I have got, and it is fantastic actually, I'm running with because in the age of the system, bloody hell, it is an NES, and it's the action set. As you can see the box is pretty much mint, there's a few little marks here and there, but nothing really bad. So let's look at that. There you go. That is spot on, that is absolutely superb. There you go, and I'll show you the sides as well. And there you go. That is excellent. Very impressed with that. Wow, she said it was in good shape, but yeah, it really is. <laughs> Fantastic, what's that? It's got the old price, it was I'm assuming that was 129 99 but it's hard to tell because it's a bit ripped off. But yeah, really chuffed to get this. Before I show everything that's inside and check it all the condition and everything. The reason I bought this basically is because I decided recently to go back and watch a lot of Happy Console Gamer videos because I wanted to catch up on all the old videos I haven't seen. Which, you know, that channel is just brilliant anyway, I love these videos. And obviously, Robman, his mate, who's a massive, massive fan of Mega Man. And I, I went and watched the Mega Man videos that he made a three part review of the whole series. And I've seen them before, but I watched them again the other day. And it really got me hyped for Mega Man. I've never played the games, I played like Mega Man 2, that was it. And that was briefly when my friend had it years ago, back when it came out. And I sort of had a quick go on it, and I thought it was decent. But I've never had a proper go on a Mega Man game. And watching Rob Man being so enthusiastic about the tiles, it just really made me want to get into the series. So I thought, screw it. I'm going to pick up an NES, because I wanted one anyway. I wanted to get a box system to go with a box Super Nintendo and box N64. And I'm going to buy Mega Man 1, and I'm going to try and play it. I know I've heard it's a real bitch, and it's really hard, but I want to have a go and see if I can play through it and work my way through the Mega Man series. So, yeah. That's the reason I bought it mainly. But yeah, I mean, God, the condition is fantastic. Really, really impressed with this. So let's start, open it up and uh, let's take a look, see what it looks like. Absolutely fantastic. There you go, guys. The poly in pristine condition. <laughs> this is amazing. Apparently she said on the auction, I think it was a cousin or something, had this and then 
grandparents or something bought her a second one. And so at the time, Christmas like 89, she said it was in the auction. I mean, so much detail, it was ridiculous for an auction, I thought, but yeah. Um, and so this one got put away in the, in the cupboard and never got used, and that's why it's in such good condition. Whether that's true, who knows, but it's interesting that someone put that much amount of detail into an auction and they don't usually do that. But yeah, look at that. Perfection. Right, so what have we got? Right, okay, first of all, there's loads of stuff in there. Got the instruction manual for the actual NES itself. There you go. We've got the instruction manual for the zapper. Which, why do you need an instruction manual? Plug it in and pause it at the screen. I don't know. <laughs> Apparently they needed an instruction manual back in the 80s. So there you go, the Zapper instructions. <laughs> Every single Nintendo thing has to have a Nintendo Power leaflet. And we've got a poster. There you go. And it's got a how to hook your system up on the back. There's a lot of grime on this, considering it's supposed to be mint. So I'm assuming that's just going to clean off. Because the system looks fine, other than that. Yeah, I'm assuming that's going to come off. Oh, it is, it's just rubbing off. That's alright, it just needs to clean. Obviously, she didn't bother to wipe it over before she sold it. Amazing people don't do that. But uh, there's the NES, I'm sure you all know what one of those look like. As you can see, there's a lot of. I don't know if it's going to come up on the camera, it should. There's lots of like, grime on top of it. Well, I've just rubbed it and it come off easy enough, so I'll just get a, a nice clean cloth and give that a good wipe over. But yeah, I mean, other than that, the system's in immaculate condition. I'm impressed with that. That is actually spot on. Yeah, even the pins look clean. Superb. So yeah, just kind of basically give it a wipe over, get all that crap off the top. And we're, we're all ready to go. Spot on. So I'm really happy with that. Um, what have we got in here? Obviously, you've got. AV cables and power supply, which are irrelevant. Zapper. Well, that sounds good. Yeah, yeah. I like that. <laughs> yeah, that's alright. That's, that's in mean condition as well. There's no scratches or anything on it. And then two controllers. Have a look at them. Yeah, look. Spot on. Yeah, mint. They just need cleaning. There you go. Fantastic. Probably the second round, everyone has to get them back in again. So, yeah, absolutely bloody brilliant, very happy with that. Feels really nice, though. Feels really comfortable. But, yeah, absolutely superb, so I'm really, really chuffed. As I say, I'll just give the NES a clean over because uh, all that grime's going to come off, but I mean, it's going to come off really easily. But once I've done that, looking at the system in the lights, yeah, there are absolutely no marks, no scratches, nothing, it's immaculate. So, absolutely bloody brilliant. So, I now have an NES in the collection, which is spot on. I've now got every Nintendo system, other than the uh, Virtual Boy, which I would love to get at some point, but they're quite expensive. But who knows in the future, maybe. I've also got a couple of games that came with the system as well. First one up, that's what I love at Nintendo, Steve and all. Nice. Oh, I've got the instruction manual. Cool. It's a game I've got no clue about. Bloody hell, that label's mint. Jesus Christ, that looks clean. There's no marks or nothing on that label. Anyway, it's uh, called the Black Bass Fishing Game, but I look at it, I've got no clue. It's probably lots of crap, but whatever. Look at the instruction manual with it as well. But I'll give it a shot. And of course, you've got to have the obligatory one that came with the system in the first place. Which is uh, Mario and Duck Hunt, which you can't have an NES without that. In fact, I've already got this cartridge over there. So, and that's, yeah, and there's the instruction manual in great shape. Fantastic, really chuffed. So it was worth the wait, I was looking for a, lot, a couple of weeks trying to get a decent NES in the best condition possible box and for a good price and this was the best deal I found and I was really chuffed when I saw it. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm very glad to have picked this up, absolutely excellent. So I'm going to give it a clean up now and then I'll power it up and make sure it all works and everything. In fact, I'll just tag it on the end of the video just to make sure, just so you can all see it all working. So I know you all know what an NES looks like and what the games are like, but yeah, just to show that it all works perfectly. So great. Thank you for watching guys and uh, let's go and check out the system. Okay guys, here we go. Hello, there's me on the screen. Right, okay, I've just hooked it up. I'm not going to clean it yet, I'm going to do it in a minute. But I've just hooked it up 
I'm uh, going to put Mario in there and let's see what happens. Don't need to change that on my own. I think I do. I just realised it's not scarred so it doesn't switch automatically. Uh, it's that one, isn't it? Ah, oh, brilliant, there you go. Put the music on the top. Right, let's have a look. One thing I've got to do first, sorry guys, I've just got to connect my speakers back up because I haven't done that. But you forgot, I'll just be listening to my music. There we go, that's better. <laughs> I won't get sound unless I do that. Superb, here we go. Oh, look at that. It's really weird playing this piece, so floaty, isn't it? Weird how he controls on this original game. Oh shit! Hey! Da -da 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 -da. There we go. Fantastic. Right, I'll try the light gun to see if that works. Get the old zapper on the go. Uh, reset that bad boy. Can't believe the amount of cable you get on these controllers, it's insane. Proper look, even the zapper's got a massive amount of cable. Right, I remember what you put it in port 2 and it works. Hopefully it does. Right, let's have a go, see how I get on. Never played this though. Oh, it works, brilliant. It's an annihilated that bleeding duck. Die. <laughs> My aim is terrible. Die, you shit. Right, let's try again. Come on, I can get this. Oh, look at that. Stone cold. Oh, and again. Beauty. Oh, you little shit. <laughs> He's a kid, isn't he? Damn it. Bloody brilliant, this is. No, oh, that's how we do it. Guys, it all worked perfectly, so I'm well happy with that. Just got to buy some games now. I've got quite a few already, but I want to get Mega Man. Oh, Jesus, I'm falling apart again. Oh, come on. Well, I've got to nail one before I end this video. Oh, this is terrible. Dog's gonna get it. Ah, oh, there you go, straight in the face. Brilliant, well thank you for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Terrible. And uh, I'll be back soon, thank you very much, bye for now.